Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. Today we're going to have a look at a rather disturbing fault on the DJI controller. So, this is the DJI controller as you can see. And as you can quite clearly see, I've got one in a bit here. So this is a brand new one that I've had to buy. Um, I didn't really have an option but to buy it. But hopefully someone watching this might be helping me to get this one back and working properly. So, this is a brand new controller. I bought it last week, 299 quid because of this. So this is the DJI controller I had. I bought this used, um, it was a couple of months old and there was nothing wrong with it at all. The only thing I did was convert it to mode one. I bought that one mode one out of the box, but this one had to be converted because it came mode two. So that's the only thing that was, anything that's been done to it really. So I'm flying the other day and obviously this is where I have my throttle now. And as I was flying, the throttle locked itself in mid position. The spring took hold, and I'm, I got got down because it was spring loaded then, but it was quite a bit of an effort to fly, as you can well imagine. I had to keep remembering to pull down, got it to land, and took the back off. And this is what I found. So I'm just gonna, if you've never seen inside the DJI controller, they are quite smart inside, a lot of stuff going on. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour around it. So Inside here you have the motherboard of the brains of the unit, the main chips under here and this is a fan and this is your heat source. So the air comes through here, cools the chip and ports out of here. And there's holes in the bottom of the controller and that's to keep that chip cool. Must be doing a hell of a lot, I can't, don't profess to know what's going on in there but there's a lot going on in there and as you can see at the top there are your switches, much nicer than on a lot of drones. Really nice, and then you've got your main board at the top where all your connections are for your switches. Okay, so you can see that. So, this is the issue I've got. So, if you look at this here, this is um, pot here. I hope you can see that. If you can see, let me just try and get some better light on it because I'm having to zoom in, I'm losing kind of focus. Here we go, that looks a bit better. So hopefully you can see uh, here, hopefully you can see there's a piece missing out of the top of that there. Let me just get really close in. There we go. So here, there's a chunk missing out of there. Because that should have a piece off that comes off the side here, which is this. So that goes into that side of that screw and it has a little pin or a, a bolt that goes down and pushes the lever down to take off the spring loader defect. That snapped. Now I thought that was all that's wrong with it at first so I took it in bits, I built it back together again by taking the spring out of this unit here. So I took the spring and everything out. So the other part came out, this is, the, this is your adjuster. And then there is a spring which has just gone somewhere, I don't know, and that goes in there. So I took the whole lot out, which allowed me obviously to still have a normal throttle. What I didn't notice until I put it back together and tried to fly with it and wondered why it wasn't flying very well, it's actually smashed the side off here. So when you fly and you give it full stick, it doesn't look to be moving, but it's enough for that potentiometer to not centre properly because of this. Now I've proved that with it by putting it on beta flight and if I put my hand here and hold it tight I can make it centralise. So this is the worst design I've ever seen. The gimbals in a hole are not the best in here. We're not hole effect with normal potentiometers and they are quite old looking fashion gimbals. So I thought no problem I'll just go find some spare parts. Uh, you, they don't make any. You cannot get, well, I can't get spare parts for this. I have, If someone knows in the comments down below what this gimbal also fits, let me know and I can go buy a gimbal. Because at the minute, this transmitter is pretty much useless. Sorry about the light. This transmitter is pretty much useless with this gimbal the way it is. So I need to try and get hold of one of these. The fact that that's broke off is not good. So I contacted DJI, sent them an email, I've never had a response, I've another email, never responds. All I want to do is try and buy that gimbal. I know damn well they're going to say send it back to us and we'll repair it at a cost. 
sat warranty, it's over a year old, so I believe anyway, because I've no proof of purchase from when it was new, so I'm kind of stuffed with what it is. But it's not great, is it? It's disappointing when you've had something, I don't know how, this guy hardly flew it, you could tell where he got it, it hardly done any work. But that is so bad, that part there, it's untrue. Really is disgusting. All they do is bolt, um, the wires just go straight down to the board here and plug in. So there must be a gimbal that this fits. This looks like the gimbal off an old JR set that I used to have. I have a JR11. And this was very similar in the way that you adjusted it. You put, you could get to do the adjustment to make it more warm. Now whether it is in JR, I think I don't know. I can't see anything stamped on it. Um, it's certainly not DJI though, and that's a certainty. They've obviously got them from somewhere, but yeah, if you do know, drop me a link in the like in the link in the comments down below of where I can get one because I'd love to buy one. I need to fix this really, can't just leave it as it is. And I'd also also there's a cable that connects from here, and it's for your battery circuit, so it goes onto the back of this unit. Honestly, on the back of this unit is the battery bay, and that cable comes down a little channel at the side and then goes across. Where it's gone across, when this is being built, it's caught and it's, it hasn't gone through in three. The three wires that look like it's been caught on one of these, they haven't actually gone through, but they're not good. So I could do a cable for there. And I know I can get a standard eight pin cable, but the shortest one I can find is two feet long. I don't really want to put two feet long one in here. So if you know where you can get one of these from, or the gimbal, let me know in the comments, please. I would be delighted. So, has it put me off DJI? Well, I went and bought another one. So, if you're thinking, well, why did you go buy another one straight away? Well, I have 10 DJI drones at the minute. So, all running on that transmitter. I've took out the transmitter. Some of my receivers in already, but I took them all out. And so the only option I had was, I toyed with the idea is, because now I've got Crossfire, is just flying on me Radio Master or the Jumper and flying all um, Crossfire. So I could have bought some Crossfire Minis, but Micro, though, whatever they are. But that was going to cost me 300 quid to do that. Plus the fact that I have to dewire everything, pull them all in, wire them all up, bind them all, set them all back up again. Whereas for 299 the, I bound 10 quads in under 10 minutes with this. That's how easy it is to bind the DJI system. And then I'm back up and flying again. Am I happy with the state of affairs? Not at all. I honestly believed that I could just go buy a gimbal for this. And then I thought, oh, I'll buy a gimbal. We've got 50 quid maybe tops for a pair of gimbals. I might even see if I could do haul. But I can't. So if you do know where you can get these from, let me know. In the if you've converted one of these to Hall Effect gimbals, let me know as well. These feel fine and they won't feel any better with the Hall Effects in, but I just would like to do it since I've got it stripped in bits. If you could, uh, I can't see there being an issue because they don't work any different. Nothing's going to change down to the wiring because the board doesn't need to know. It's just the sensors up here. So, the magnet side of it. But in here, yes, we have potentiometers. It's 300 quid. It's a lot of money for what it is, but... I suppose there's quite a lot going on in here of other things. That's what you're paying the money for. There's more than just the transmitter, the fact that everything goes through the goggles and etc. etc. But really disappointed I come by this. It's simply a matter of taking four screws out that you can get to quite easy. There's one under here, one there, one under that cable there, and one there under that one. Dead easy to get out. But unfortunately, I can't buy them. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, if you want a DJI transmitter, it's something to bear in mind. You might, if you ever take the back off, just double check these things. I'd imagine that's been cracked for a long time and then it's just give way. A little tip for taking one of these in bits. There have been a couple of videos I've seen on people tearing these down. And there's a set of screws come through the back. You probably know you've got one, two, three, four, and then you've got two at the bottom. So you've two under two little rubber feet. You've got two under the rubber side panels that you just pull back. Two at the top but it won't come undone because the notch here 
holding it. Now what I've seen is people putting the bit of plastic in and pushing that aside and pulling it out. You don't need to. Get a pick, a guitar pick or something made of plastic, just keep running it around the edge. Eventually the bottom will fall out and it just comes out. No damage whatsoever. So a little tip in case you are wondering how they come in bits. So thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.